Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TCEPs and Fast Films. You know, no matter how you cut it, when you're trying to make a design look photorealistic and match colors using off-the-shelf ink colors, it's difficult. We could certainly mix each ink color, and it could be an 8 or 10 color print, and we would nail the colors. But if we're trying to do it using halftone dots and combining colors to make other colors, it's difficult. And so the program will get you really close, and that's why sometimes you'll run different routines to see which routine ran the best. I ran this job on the 9 color plus 2 whites, mainly because I wanted to get a good green. The 5 color routine makes the green out of yellow and blue, and it gives you kind of a dirty, kind of a khaki green. It just doesn't give you a clean green. Sometimes you need to print green. You need to print maybe purple or brown. And in this case, on this job, I felt the green was important to be a nice bright green and print green and not make a green with halftone dots. But that said, then we have this little bit of purple right down here. And it's almost a waste, one screen for the purple. If I take the eye off the purple channel, I can see that it goes away. Uh, and I'm thinking the customer might complain about that. I really think I need the purple, but it's not that important. We can make purple by combining channels. Purple is made up, obviously, of red and blue. And so we can take and send the information from this purple channel over to the blue channel and the red channel because the information is here. If we take a look at it, there's probably not a lot of information here. That's the purple channel right there. That information could actually be copied into the blue channel and into the red channel to make the purple, and we, we can then delete the purple channel. Now, this routine requires you to really read the menus, and the routine is called combining channels. And so basically, you click on combining two channels. This is simply a help menu. And it says that this routine helps you combine channels in order to eliminate the, color, the colors. And it says, first, select the channel you want to copy the other channel into. That's important. You want to select the channel you're going to. And we'll say continue. And it says you can also copy a channel into more than one channel. So with that in mind, so we can actually visual, visually see on screen what's going to happen, I'm going to turn the eye off of the purple so we know that the purple channel is non-existent. The information is still there. I'm going to select the blue channel because the help screen said to select the channel you want to copy into. Then it said click on Finish Combining Channels. And again, this helps you and prompts you. Now, we're going to tell TCEPs the channel we want to copy from. We're going to drop this down and click on purple. And watch over here. Now I'm going to uncheck preview and check preview. You can see we're close. We're getting more of a blue now because we copied the purple information to the blue channel. We'll leave that on. Let's do the same thing to the red channel. We're going to select the red channel. Again, the purple channel is turned off so we don't see it. We're going to click on finish combining channels. And we're now going to drop down the channel window and tell it we want to copy the purple channel. And there you have it. We got our purple. Uncheck preview, check preview, uncheck it. Of course, we're seeing it with the blue channel copied here. We copied the purple information over to the blue and the red. The purple channel is turned off, so we're not seeing it. So we know exactly what we're going to get. And now we delete the purple channel. And we just picked up one color. So we are one color less for our print order right now. That is how easy it is to combine channels in TCEPs.